they may be seated. Uh, do we have uh, again uh, one moment and one more song? Um, let me welcome you again uh, in the word of God. We can read together Ruth chapter 1. Uh, we will read from verse 11, <coughs> then we will jump to verse 16. Ruth, chapter 1, verse 11, then we will jump to verse 16. But Naomi said, Return home, my daughter. Why would you come with me? I am going to have any more sons who could become your husband. Return home, my daughter. I am too old to have another husband. Even if I thought there was still hope for me, even if I had a husband tonight and then get back to Sarah, would you wait until they, get, they grow up? Would you remain unmarried for them? No, my daughter. It's more better for me than for you because the Lord's hand has turned against me. Verse 16. But Ruth replied, Don't ask me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you, say, you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. When you die, I will die. And there, I'll be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so several, if, if death separates you and me. The word of God. Uh, today, in many places, they are talking about Mother's Day. And when... Uh, in the morning, mothers wake up. I see sometimes my wife, she wake up every time, said, I have to see if my kids have a, a breakfast. Maybe they can go forget breakfast when they go to school. I see how they take care, they have love, they want to take care for their kids. Mother's Day is a beautiful time to remember. We have a proverb in our, uh, my, my language which say that you can have everything, everything, but if you lost your mom, no one can, can, can repress your mom or bring back your mom. So many things are duplicate, but your mom is not duplicate. Your mom is mom. So, people said, happy birthday, happy birthday, mom days, is the story of love, of God's love. I, I love you, mom. That's how kids say. I love you, mom. So, when I was reflecting on this, on Mother's Day, to celebrate in personal or in collective ways, sometimes publicly we do these collective ways without taking attention or without deeply understanding what this word means, Mother's Days. Ma mother, mother's Day. Mother, mother's mother, mom, my mom, mother, uh, mamere. Even the language you can use, but mother is mother. Uh, so, so, when we went back to respond in Christianity, how we Christians, we shift from this word, the movement to think about mom, my mom, our mom. Do we find the models on the mothering Bibles? Yes, I was reading Sarah uh, in the Bible. She was called the mother of faith. Mother of faith. And she loved her son. She had Isaac. Isaac was born. Sarah was an older woman. Not only Sarah, I was reading also the story of Esther how Esther also contributed. And uh, uh, the story of, of, also of Hannah. 
But today I said, when we come here, I will share a little bit of stories of two women, Naomi and Ruth. So, there is a solidarity in the relationship between two women, Ruth and Naomi. When I read the story, I tried to read the story, then I went back from where I came from. As I said, African go back to where they came from. So I went back to say, let me put this story to my story. A family, Elmelech family, he had a country, Israel. He was living there with the family. But one day, they had problems. Famine reason, they said, we can shift, move from Bethlehem, then we can go to another place. But in their culture, that was illegal. But because of famine, they had to go. They moved with the family, Elmelech, and two kids. I think th for those who have experienced the life of refugees, they understand more. They moved. Sometimes you move from your country, your home, for different reasons. Myself, I moved my country because of war. I moved from Congo. They said, okay, I'm lucky because I escaped war. Then I went in Rwanda, I lived there, I escaped again. I went to Uganda, I escaped again. I came to Canada. I don't know if I'm going to escape again, but no. <laughs> So, the life of being refugee is really, it's a very, very hard life. If you're a refugee, you lose your identity. You use your language. You use your personality. Sometimes people say, think that you, you don't have a country. I think some people read my, uh, my article where I wrote that my people have no homeland. To be with no homeland is very heavy. It's not easy. So, they moved also because of famine. They were ah, hungry. They went to live there to see if really they can succeed, they can feed their family. Unfortunately, when they reached there, the husband died. Naomi stayed alone. But they had to marry their kids, two kids. But after all, they died also. So in the family, they stayed three women. Imagine, in, uh, I don't know your culture, maybe I can say in my culture. In my, in my culture, it's very hard to see two women, the widows, to live together. To live together without kids. In my culture, when you don't have kids, when your husband dies, you have to go back to your home, to your family, because you have family. But Naomi said there, I said, no, I have to go back also in Bethlehem. I cannot stay in a foreign country. I'm a refugee here. Let me try to see how I can go back to my country. So he called daughter-in-law, say, do you know, my time has come. I know that my country now in Bethlehem, there is something I want to go back. It was easy, as I said, in my culture, in my country, we can say, mom, go in peace. Then you can go back to the family. But Ruth said, no, I cannot leave you. I will go with you. Your people will be my people. Your land will be my land. Your God will be my God. Really, it's very heavy. Because Ruth's religion was not the same with Naomi. Ruth's tradition and culture was not the same, even the language. But he said, no, I cannot leave you. Your people will be my, my people. Ah, for me, I have a feeling. It has been a long time when I, I didn't have identity. I said like uh, almost 15 years in exile, where I don't have identity. Imagine, your people will be my people. And your God will be my God to change your religion. When I was reading this, I thought that Naomi had a good character. That's why Ruth, when she saw how her, mom, in, her mother-in-law, her character, said, I can learn from you step by step. Then I can be with you. I can have a relationship with you, solidarity with you, as I see how, how you are. Naomi together, beyond their control, 
Now he moved in a foreign country. He had experience. In the country where I came from, Congo, we have almost today now 8 million people who died. So when people are escaping, many women have a problem, have violence abuse. In foreign countries, they have such experience. They are affected with HIV. The second, Ruth together with the uh, mom-in-law, they have a nice story, a tragic story. I said that the lady who came together, like a Kaitesi, she has experienced the genocide. When I explain the story of a, of a tragic story to leave your country, she understand more. When you escape in this situation, this kind of situation, everyone has a story. Then you know, Bethlehem was a house, a land, a region of bread. But they didn't know that in, in, in Bethlehem they can have something. But they moved, they went to another country, in a foreign country. <coughs> in a foreign country, refugee country, they had trouble. They had hard situation. In Mother Day today, two ladies in solidarity, in a relationship. I came back also to my house, to my family, my children. I say, is there any relationship that my daughter can walk with, with me? I say, my dad, you are my dad, but where you, where you will go, I will go with you. Where will you die, I will die with you. Uh, your God will be my God. Do you see families today, in one family, husband and wife, they have different religion, different languages, different accounts, bank account. My bank account, your bank account. So different cars, different reasons like that. They live together, and yet they are not together. But these foreigners, they work together. Your people will be my people. How a foreigner woman can say your people will be my people? And my wife and my husband, my wife will say, no, your people is not my people. And yes, she, she is my wife. Your people is not my people. Let me give you an example. Such example is not good, but let me give you this example. Tonight, uh, we're talking... Um, I was with Kaitesi and the one pastor together. We were going back and we said about uh, the time of a genocide. That one husband was a, a military. So they were looking uh, to kill people. Let me say to kill people. And, uh, but in the house, the, the husband married a woman who uh, in a different tribe. Okay? So, but his son was there. And asked dad, dad, where you come from? I was going to, to look at those uh, enemies to kill them. I said, Dad, you're going to look enemies to kill them? Why? And, and, and you leave those enemies here in your house? No. I don't have enemy. <laughs> so he knew that the enemies are in, uh, in a room like that. So they're here? They are here? Yes. They were on the table eating food. I said, can you tell me where they hide? So, they are here. Show me my mom. If you want to kill them, start by killing my mom. My mom is not the same tribe with you. You have to kill her first before you go to kill other people. Kill her. You know, kill your mom. This is Mother's Day today. Imagine if your son say, kill my mom. Kill my mom. When I reflect, I bring this story to the life where we live today, I say maybe we read this, this like a story for other people. So let's bring this story to our, our area, our town, our culture, our living, our <coughs> living, the way we live with our kids, the way we live with, with our mom. Uh, myself, I brought this, go back. I say, let me walk to see how really this can fit also to my life. This can fit to where I the long journey, where I traveled, where I came from. In conclusion, we have nice words when uh, we, 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 we have this day, Mother's Day. Mom, I love you. Mom, I love you. We speak, I love you, by speaking only, by speaking. But inside, inside, we don't love our moms. But it's the most element. I spoke to my, my brothers and, and, uh, and my, my, uh, my, my children. Uh, I said, this is almost uh, like uh, 10 years uh, when my, my mom died. But I still reflect my mom, my mom, my mom, my mom. Mom will be mom and mom, mom. So, 
This example, I brought, I brought this message to say, how can we live again this situation of, of solidarity and the relationship in Mother's Day to bring this love, agape love, unconditional love, the love we love our mom, the love we love also in families, the way you can live, that my wife and your wife can be your, your person, your, your people, and the way we live, you can, be, you, you can be your people, then say that today I have a nationality here in Canada, then I feel I'm proud that I'm Canadian. That's how I feel. So I can say now, I'm your people. You are my people. Because, do you know why I said you are my people? Because you accepted to welcome me. Welcome to the country. Oh, I feel, okay. I felt that, oh, I'm happy because there is no distance. You hug me. You say, this is your country. I feel now Canadian. Now I'm your people. But the country where they cannot welcome you, it's not your people. But if you fit, I don't know. Maybe we, like uh, immigrants, newcomers, we have other eyes. There is a problem we say that uh, when a guest comes to your to a house, you can say, welcome him, then take his stick and uh, put somewhere there. But his eyes still looking on the way you welcome him. That's what we say, you say. I can be there. You take my things, you put in the, in the room, say, thank you, welcome. You know, here we learn how to, to greet each other. <laughs> and sometimes, so, <laughs> so in my culture, when we do like this, we say, why are you doing like this? So that's the way we greet each other. We learn how to greet, how to mix the culture like this. But in eyes, I will see how people treat me, how re if really people welcome me, if really people, there is no distance. But, but here, I'm proud because now I'm Canadian. He said, let's welcome these newcomers. I'm not foreign again. It's my country. It's like Ruth. It's my country. That's why I, I contribute to the country where I, I am. So, the message I bring you today, you have Ruth. Though the Ruth are newcomers. I see my colleague here from uh, another land, another, uh, another country. You also, some people came from England, from uh, uh, Russia, from where, from German. But when we come, all of us here, we are one people. One race, one language, one person, one belief, one work together. Then work together, work together, we still together. Like Ruth, how she lived with Naomi. So, the message you give today, if you see Naomi, Naomi can be me, Shadrach. Did you see my article? My article said, my people have no homeland. But today I have homeland. Because when I walk, you welcome me. Welcome, Ruth, welcome to the country. If this is your country, this is your home. That's now, today, I'm proud. I put the tie like this because I'm proud. If I, I could not have, have a country, I could not put the tie here. But I put the tie because I feel proud that this is my country. This is my home. So, in the long journey where I was with my kids, and uh, we traveled a lot, we traveled a lot, I said, the only things, the gift I can give you, the only heritage I can give you, don't forget about God. God is the one only who can unite people. Don't hate people. Let hate people hate you, but don't hate people. Always love, love people. Unconditional love. As Ruth walked with Naomi, I said, I'll be with you. Because Ruth learned to Naomi, and she knows that Naomi has a God. Has God. So we are learning the love you have. That's why when we said, Paul said to go to your, huh, here, he said, yeah, we shall go. Then yesterday they said, who is ready to come? So many people could come. Because you have love to welcome us. Then finally, in conclusion, I'm welcoming you also to come to Winnipeg. And in the future, I will come you also to go back together in Africa as missionaries. And we are here because the love of God came from uh, these countries where we came as missionaries to preach the gospel. And we read the Bibles, that's why I knew the story of Ruth and Naomi. So, the message I give you today, you have grandchildren, grand, grand, uh, you have uh, children, maybe you have a husband, maybe, maybe you divorced with husband. It's a life, it's a journey. It's larger when, where we travel. It's a famine, it's war, it's a, uh, HIV, it's a difficult to get a job. It's a, such a difficult time like that. But when you go back to seek solidarity, 
to walk with Naomi, to walk with someone, trust God. God is there to say, I'm not alone. That's why Jesus, before he dies, he said, Mom, uh, woman, look your, your, your child. Child, you look your, your, your woman. Which means, I cannot feel as a foreigner. Because to the country where I am, if I am a man, the kids who are there, daughters who are there, they are my daughters, they are my boys. So, like my kids, I, can tell, I cannot tell them that if I die today, go back to Africa. No. I will say, if I die today, look on my right. Look, uh, what's your name again? <laughs> Uruk Ren. It will be your dad. Don't look at me because I died. Look at Ren. He will be your dad. Look at uh, Ibarag. Okay? What's your name again? Mary. Mary. Look at Mary. She'll be your mom. Which means we're all related. We're not connected. There is solidarity. Don't see people as enemy, but work with the people. Trust. Work with them with solidarity. That's the word of God. And this relationship will, will be strong. Then we'll be blessed. Then we'll bless your country. As a Ruth, from Ruth, we have Jesus who died, who died, who brought uh, this covenant. The covenant she had with the, uh, her, ma- her mother-in-law. And it's the covenant also Jesus brought to give us salvation. Receive that salvation. Shalom. Uh, be in peace. God bless you. Then we will come uh, again to choir to give us uh, 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 the last song they have. Then... That will be the, my conclusion with, is the, in the, the, the song they have. But we love you. Thank you so much to invite us. And uh, we should come with all family. My wife, my wife uh, had a problem of blood clot. She should come with me. Uh, but they said, let's divide a, a small choir. And another small choir I stayed in Winnipeg. But we should come, all of us, to worship and dance and praise, and praise the, uh, our God. If you see that we dance, we praise... It's not, um, maybe, maybe you cannot say that we are drunk. We do this because we know where we came from. <laughs> yeah. One day, one day, when they get ready, one day I, I, have, I have come somewhere to preach the gospel. Then I met that the rebels were, were, were surrounded the, the, the town. That town was taken. So we are two people. Then they say, stop. They said, who are you? It's the mess- like, like the question they asked the, uh, Naomi spoke with the Ruth. It's, who are you? I said, okay, <laughs> I'm going to die. But I said, before I answer you, can I play, uh, can I play you a, a guitar? I said, okay, playing guitar? Okay, okay, go ahead. So I took a guitar, so I started playing guitar. Because I was scared. <laughs> I knew that I'm going to die today. I said, what should I do? Maybe I can play uh, before I answer the question. When I started playing, playing, playing uh, guitar, they start dancing. They were happy. They start dancing. They start, well, keep going. Keep praying. They start dancing. So I sang a song. They start singing together. And what, that was my day. After I, I pray, I sang the song. Sing. Okay. Are you a pastor? I said, yeah, I am. Okay. Thank you so much. Could you preach to us? Yeah. I put the guitar down. I start preaching. In that central, I had the same day 200 people turn their life to Jesus. And the second, after two weeks, we went back to, back to baptize 100 people. Because, that's why I said, hmm, okay. Always, when I get chance, I'll be singing and then dance for the Lord. Because this day I should die. But because I was dancing, I was dancing, I was dancing, I was dancing. They danced with me. I said, oh, God, now, do what? He broke the chain. Broke the chain. Did you, did you practice song? There's a power. Let's go. There's a power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus.
power in the name of Jesus to break chains of sickness, chains of divorce, chains of suffering, chains of loneliness, chains of living alone. There is a power which breaks those chains. I know God who knows you will break all chains. Chains of a long journey, of suffering, of sickness, of loneliness. Sometimes we live when we are rejected, rejected with our children, our husbands, our wives, our friends.